Good day and welcome to Mission Control Houston, where a team of flight controllers is watching over the systems of the International Space Station. Today uh, on console, uh, Jerry Jason is the flight director leading the team. Uh, he has J Jay Marshke talking with the crew aboard the International Space Station, members of the Expedition 31 crew, of course, on duty. Don uh, Pettit, uh, one of those uh, crew members, talking with the folks on the ground today about uh, last-minute stowage aboard the Dragon SpaceX vehicle that's getting ready to uh, uh, unberth from the International Space Station later this week on Thursday and uh, begin uh, uh, descent through the Earth's atmosphere to a uh, landing in the Pacific Ocean off the western coast of California. The crew opened the hatches uh, to the Dragon spacecraft about 4.53 a.m. Saturday. And we have some video of the hatch opening activities that we can show you. So far, uh, all of the transfer of the cargo from inside the Dragon spacecraft, the first commercial spacecraft to dock with the International Space Station, uh, has been transferred over. It took about 18 hours to transfer all the different items of uh, clothing, uh, experiment hardware, uh, and uh, other uh, consumables for use aboard the International Space Station. Again, this is a video that was recorded on Saturday as the crew opened the hatch into the Dragon vehicle. Over the weekend, all systems aboard the, the uh, space station continued to function well. Uh, there were uh, a couple of minor software issues seen in the uh, robotic arm software uh, during the uh, rendezvous and grapple and uh, subsequent uh, ungrapple and regrapple efforts uh, as the crew did a survey of the trunk of the SpaceX, which is the external cargo compartment. Uh, those uh, have been tracked down to a, a, a small update in uh, some software that was released earlier this year, and it's been the first time that the team has uh, used that particular parameter in the software, and they have a good workaround where they just make sure they upload a new file uh, for this uh, backup file that comes into play uh, before they go off to do another activity, and it's not going to be a problem from then on out. So they're expecting a very smooth activity associated with the uh, preparations uh, for the uh, un the grapple and uh, unberthing. The uh, Dragon is scheduled to be uh, unberthed uh, from the space station's Harmony node uh, module, which is uh, it's on the Earth-facing port at 3.15 a.m. Central Time on Thursday. And then a release is scheduled for uh, 5.12 a.m. Central Time on Thursday. And the SpaceX team reported today in the International Management Team meeting that uh, they expect about four, five hours of uh, orbital operations as it uh, departs the International Space Station and prepares uh, to make its splashdown. The International Mission Station uh, Management Team uh, today did a full review and poll of the activities leading up to the uh, uh, closing of the hatches and the unberthing of the uh, spacecraft and determined that they were go for that uh, unberthing. Uh, and so we're looking forward to uh, the uh, final stages of the Dragon SpaceX uh, first commercial mission to the International Space Station later this week. On board uh, the space station today, the crew has been focusing uh, on primarily uh, unstowage and uh, restowage issues as they uh, complete the cargo transfer activities. They've been working on a few other uh, different uh, experiments on board as time allowed, and we're getting ready for an event on NASA television, a uh, European Space Agency event coming up at uh, 10.55 a.m. Central Time as uh, Expedition 31 Flight Engineer Andrew Kuypers uh, talks with uh, European Space Agency's uh, Christel Fugel Christa Fugelsang and some Twitter participants uh, in that event coming up a little bit later today. And so with that, uh, Oleg Kononenko, uh, Andre Kuypers, uh, Don Pettit, Gennady Padalka, Sergey Revin, and Joe Acaba are continuing their activities aboard the space station as it orbits uh, right now about 250 statute miles over the southern Indian Ocean on the northeasterly coast. Продолжение